So let me demystify this whole sideline business and show you that there are some techniques that we can really use on non-pregnant people, because none of you are, um, that feel fabulous. And that in this position, you can be very comfortable and you can work as a therapist and as a client, truly appreciate and enjoy and feel like you've gotten a real massage. You ready? As you see, I have many, many pillows. I've got lots of props, and I need them, and I will generally use them all. You're tall. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice when you were sitting down. This wedge comes in handy for a lot of reasons. In this particular case, we're going to pretend that she's in her uh, first, maybe second trimester, and I'm working on her upright in a um, supine position first, and then maybe I'll turn her on her side, which is what I'll do. So this wedge, when we're talking about putting a wedge underneath that right hip, I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's only going to, so I'm just going to ask you to tilt up here, and I'm going to put that there. And it's just going to tilt her enough so that that uterus will just move a little bit over to the side. Then, when I am ready to have her move, and I will probably have her have you turn and face me. But as you sit there, you can see that I can still, with her in sideline position, I can work on her, just like I could if she was on her back or on her stomach. I can work all of this. I would be able to very easily work on her legs from this position, very, very easily work on that hip, and work all around here, work the foot, arm, hand, no problem. Me, at the end of this, because she's up to meet me, I feel good. My lower back doesn't hurt. I'm not hunched over. I'm not doing any kind of crazy lunges and, and using things, which hey, has its place and is really great. But it's, that place is not with um, pregnant people. And the switching her over to the other side is very simple. But I just wanted to anything, wanted to show you the setup, the layout, how we do this. Uh, and that it's completely doable, as you know. Um, you just need pillows, props, and the right kind of training to feel confident in your abilities to do this kind of work.